Welcome to YouTube. It's your boy Bill Twenty here with a beverage review. It's a soda pop beverage. The review: Lexter's Fixins. Sound familiar to anybody? It may or may not, and you may have different reasons why it sounds familiar. But earlier this month, I reviewed from uh, Lexter's Fixins their uh, coffee soda, and um, I don't think they extra caffeinated it up. I think it was probably just around like the cola levels, but with the amount of sugar that they had added to it and the way everything worked together, regardless if it was a higher caffeine content soda or not, it played around like it was a bit strong. And they tried to make it taste like coffee, and it was my first time with a coffee flavored soda, and I enjoyed it. Just like this flavor here will be my first time with a flavored soda like this. The sides of all like the carbs and the calories and the grams of sugars and all that's the same so I don't need to repeat it you can see it on the coffee soda review so with pure cane sugar you all get your fixins still comes from the still goes from, still, go, still from the rocket fist soda pop and candy shops company out in caramel camarello california carbonated water sugar sodium benzoate as a preservative, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors, modified food starts, ester gum, caramel color, six red forty. This is Lexter Lexter's Fixin's pumpkin pie soda. Never had a pumpkin soda before. Cane sugar soda, no caffeine in this one, but really sugary. Um, yeah, I got these not locally. Didn't have to like cross any borders or go into any other parts of the world. And I think I paid a dollar. I would say a dollar fifty nine. It may have been a dollar fifty. And I'm having trouble getting the, there the caps off now. Ooh, is that too strong of a nutmeg smell? Yeah. I got this one dimensional smell. It's just this uh, spice. That's far too strong. Now it's almost like. I don't know. I've got like this. From the bottle, it's this cinnamon or nutmeg smell that is so strong that I can still, you know, detect the smell. Not coming out of the bottle, but after you smell it, it's so strong that even the scent is kind of stuck there. Oh boy, I think this is going to be overdone on a spice or something. Let's pour it out and see what we have. Well, they're trying to make this soda taste like a pumpkin pie. So I guess it will have to be spiced up a bit. It's orange. It's got your one finger pink head. It's bubbly. Well, orangey kind of pink head, you know. I wouldn't say it's dead on the pink, it's like different product, but if you've ever had that uh, strawberry beer from Belgium, that's a pink head. It's an odd smelling soda. Now I don't get this dominant spice smell. I can get some of that, but I get something else in there. Something else, yeah. Spices. And something that just doesn't seem like it's going to be good or safe or something. I don't know. We'll just dive in and see how it takes. Cheers. Happy fall. Season of the pumpkin. Whoop, whoop. Hmm. Ah, uh, what the fuck? I'm taking it in. Hmm. I'm playing around with it so I like the taste buds all in my like tongue and all around my mouth can pick up the way it's supposed to detect things and let it decide what it thinks. And as I'm playing around with it, it seems like it's gonna be an interesting, maybe not a kick ass soda, but it seems like it's gonna be good. And then you swallow it. That's where it all goes to fucking hell. It's still good, but something's wrong about it. Oh, 
Ah, no. Ah, man, I'm gonna keep swearing if I'm not careful. Man. Um, that second sip before I swallowed it wasn't as good as the first I swip I swished around. Um, you can taste like some spices to it, like. Something I'm tasting reminds me of like probably more nutmeg than cinnamon, but the only spices that I'm, that my mind's thinking of when I drink it is nutmeg and cinnamon. Not if 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 that truly is cinnamon, it's not done in a way where it dries you out like some drinks Black Creek's pumpkin ale. <laughs> but um, it's this soda where it's got like I don't know like this chemically sugary uh, taste or something like that to it with some like nutmeggy cinnamony kind of taste and you can see how it's trying to be the spices from like a pumpkin pie because it's not one of those oh it's more to spice it actually has stuff in it that's trying to be pie too so in a way it does represent pumpkin pie but all these spices playing with like sugars and chemicals and it feels weird and then when you swallow it it just kind of rough and gross how it's dissolving into the body yeah I think I explained it as well as my brain can have my taste have my vocal cords explained I think that was what I was getting Yeah, it, it's it's odd and kind of gross. It's like um, you get your soda, pop kind of feel and texture, plus like I said, the spices. Then you swallow it, and when you swallow it, it goes in there kind of like bad and rough feeling, sadly. And then everything in the aftertaste, I don't know if it's really anything pumpkin pie like. But it's basically like a soda with spices in it. But the way it feels when you swallow it is kind of gross. And again, it just feels like sugars and chemicals kind of like rotting out your belly or something. So, I mean, it's an interesting try. But I enjoyed the coffee one better and it sat nicer. So, what? Well, there's fixins. Y'all get your fixins pumpkin pie soda. It's okay and it's different, but this other soda I have to have a review yet, hopefully it will be better. Because if it's going to be something like this, then we're in trouble. But, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to give it 3 and a 5 out of 10 because, um, it's interesting. But, um, even though it's not disgusting, it's not the best. And some of that grossness to it and how it sits is why it gets a low rating. It's a bit odd, but it's a nice try. Thanks.